Hey guys, so today I thought I would film a what's in my fridge. We have just gone grocery shopping, so I thought I would show you. Sorry about the noise in the background, that is the kids watching telly. So this is our fridge, it's a fridge freezer, so the top part is fridge, and the bottom part is a freezer. So I don't have anything on the front, all I've got is sort of a shopping list, and this just says my shopping. And we just take the pencil and add to it when we remember what needs to be bought. So this is what it looks like. So I will show you what is inside the fridge. So this is what it looks like when you open the fridge. And I'll start with the inside and then I'll go into the doors. So the top shelf here, like you'll probably see, I've got a lot of these storage baskets. I really love them. They're really good to store everything. We've got a huge amount of eggs. So this top drawer here is just a plastic container and this actually has all Hazel's yogurts. So there are some tubs here and some of the pouches so they all go in there for her. This basket here is all uh, singular pouches of turkey and ham pieces. So they're like the sandwich hams and sliced ham and turkey. So they're all in those individual pouches. I've got some yogurts here for me and a random pack of Pocket noodles for a stir fry that I'll be doing. This basket here is all cheese. So there's Hazel's cheese stringers, there's some extra leftover. There is a block of cheese, and we have packets of parmesan cheese, fresh parmesan, tasty cheese, and that one's mozzarella. So we just put all the cheeses in that basket. So they're easy to grab. So that's that shelf. The next shelf down is kind of a bit of a crazy mess, but there is just a huge amount of eggs. Uh, we ended up getting tons of eggs for some reason and we're not really going through them so I've got so I have tons of cartons of eggs there I've got a quick cook ravioli which is you've seen in my grocery hauls before that's just beef ravioli and some of these sweet chili chicken tenders which we will cook up hopefully soon I have at the back just some cooked pasta that we reheat for Hazel if she's hungry it's probably due to be thrown out by the looks of it uh, this pot here is some spaghetti bolognese I cooked yesterday so that will be in a day also I may freeze it we'll see I think we may have it for lunches or something like that um, so that's pretty much that shelf the next shelf down is very thin and I've taken advantage of that with these drawers um, these are the ones I got from Kmart which you've seen in my Kmart haul so I'll show you these we tend to keep the meat in here um, this one's got some hot dogs and some sausages by the looks of it different types in there I tend to keep the meat in these because if they leak their juices these are really easy to just pull out and wash rather than trying to wash the whole fridge so this one here has got some beef burgers I think they're pork chops down the bottom and these are chicken breast fillets I don't know if these will all stay in here I don't know whether I'll freeze some and this entire drawer is just middle rasher bacon Michael is on carb freezer he's having uh, quite a bit of bacon so that's bacon in there the bottom shelf down here we have another tray of eggs this is um, farm fresh free-range eggs we have a friend who has eggs so this is where we've got a tray of those I've been working today so there's pumped breast milk that will end up going in the freezer it's just been put in the fridge for now because I haven't managed to freeze it yet and this has got two loads of rum steak to go on the barbecue so those are all the shelves the bottom drawers down here we use for salad items and fruit so in this one I've got a bit of a mixture it looks like there's brown onions I think they're the kip flour potatoes for the stew that I make there's half a red capsicum or bell pepper in there, some carrots, a sweet potato, a red onion, half a bag of lettuce, a cucumber and some more capsicums. Um, and then in this other drawer, we have another fresh bag of lettuce, some mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and some strawberries, which is that one. So that is that part of the fridge as you can see so I'll go ahead and show you the doors so up the top here is normally sort of my goodie jar um, there is Atkins chocolate bars that we buy which are like a sugar-free chocolate or a low-fat chocolate and some chocolate coins left over from Christmas which is random we hide those up there this one I think has just got an empty egg tray you'd think with all the eggs would fill that but there you go <laughs> next shelf we have some uh, cooking butter, some powdered parmesan cheese, some butter, sour cream. This is cream cheese that Hazel has in her sandwiches. I have in the drawer over, this is beetroot in like a strainer. Uh, tomato paste, 
Uh, that's a random half a block of cooking chocolate. This is Dejeuner's, which is Dijon mustard, basically, but with mayo and some uh, mayo. The shelf below, which is really small, as you can see, it's thin there and bigger here. So back here, I've got, I think that's just hot mustard, another type of mustard. We seem to have a lot. Uh, an unopened jar of mayo. I don't know why that's in there. There's a jar of open pesto, minced garlic. Uh, let's stand that one up. This is... Smoky barbecue marinade. I love this stuff. It's really good. That is daddy's sauce from the UK. We have balsamic dressing, barbecue sauce, tomato sauce, pizza sauce. There's a random different barbecue sauce, a random Lucasade and lemon juice. And the bottom drawer, we have sweet chili sauce. This is Harry's food. We've just put the lid on it because he doesn't go through a whole can at once. An unopened bottle of maxi ice, keeping cold. Long life milk that's been opened, random goat's milk that was left here by the family member that lives here, so he's going to come get that I think, and a half a bottle of maxi ice. So that is what is in my refrigerator door, and that is pretty much my fridge. I will show you my freezer, which is down here. So this is what you see when you open it, and this is the random tray for ice. You fill these up with water and then you twist those and release the ice which i'll show you in a second this drawer here has got a lot of hydrolytes we keep these for the kids if they're dehydrated so we always keep those in there ice blocks this is the spot i use i normally keep it free like that and that's how i freeze all my meals flat and also my breast milk packages you'll see in a second this is like my little freezer spot so this one was put in last night so it's obviously frozen flat as you can see, it's spag bowl <laughs> and the date. And the reason I lay them flat is when you open this one, this is the bar, the box where that ice will go down. So that's it there, as you can see, and it opens into there. I'll try and put that back on. I've got some fish fingers down the back. This is the how I store my frozen breast milk. So they I freeze them flat in these little snap lock bags with how many meals and the date and they come out pretty flat and then I basically stack them all in date order like so and they sit like that. So that is all breast milk and I take them here and put back in the back when I have pumped. That's a spaghetti bolognese frozen uh, chicken breast and that's also another spaghetti bolognese frozen flat. So I basically can stack them in a line like I would with the breast milk. So all the meals that we make, curries and stews and all that sort of stuff get frozen flat like that. So that's that drawer. The bottom drawer is for meat and vegetables. So <laughs> there are some meat down there. We've just been um, shopping, so I've put some steak there, and I think there's some shredded beef down the bottom. I have chicken nuggets down there for hazel and fish fillets, which are really good. And then this side is just all frozen vegetables, pretty much. There's roast potatoes there. Um, they're just mixed veggies, um, frozen spinach cubes that we use a lot. Uh, they'll be... Uh, frozen corn and frozen green beans. So basically all the veggies that we use in meals are frozen. I tend to find they keep better. Uh, there's broccoli and all that sort of stuff in there. I had someone ask about these clips. You can get them from Woolworths or I think Ikea do them. They're like little clips. They come in a bunch of different sizes and you can use them on all your open bags so they don't go anywhere. Um, so that's for you guys that are asking about them. But yeah, there's basically a bunch of frozen vegetables that we use. They just seem to last better and they're really more convenient for us. So that's all my frozen veggies and then the meat. So that is pretty much my freezer and my fridge. Uh, if you have any questions or want to know where I got anything or if you have any storage tips, let me know in the comments below. Please like this video if you enjoyed this sort of style video. I did also do a what's in my pantry, so I'll leave those links below. But please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks, bye. Next thing I got was this pillow. I